Let's get into how to use the step modulator in step effects. The step modulator is really the engine that powers step effects. It creates a step sequence and modulates the various modules within step effects. We'll go over the basics in this video, and in the next video, I'll show you some advanced features. To demonstrate this, I've fleshed out my song a bit more here, using the same alchemy bass as before, but I've created a different moving bass line. Here's what it sounds like with step effects bypassed. <laughs> So that sounds pretty good, but I want to create more motion with this. Let's start with the stock factory default setting. The step modulator actually has three different lanes, and as a result, Step Effects effectively has three separate step modulators, all with independent controls. In the factory default setting, these are filter cutoff, gate mix, and pan, but these can be changed to affect a number of different modulation targets. Also notice that step modulators two and three are disabled at the moment, so you won't hear these. In this video, we'll just stick with Step Modulator 1, which is affecting the filter cutoff knob. Another thing to note is that the XY pad is still active in the factory default setting. I'll come back to this in a later video, but for now I'll disable the X and Y parameters. The blue range of the knob shows the depth and range of the modulation, and can be controlled by adjusting the depth of the step modulator here. Positive values will modulate above the filter cutoff, and negative values will modulate below the filter cutoff. Each step in the step modulator is affecting the position of the filter cutoff within the blue range. The vertical depth of each step in the step modulator is represented by the white dot that's moving around. I'll sweep through the depth knob so you can hear what this sounds like. <laughs> Also, keep in mind that each step is affected by this AHR envelope. This stands for Attack, Hold, and Release. This is why even when you have all of the steps in the modulator all the way up, you still see some motion on the filter cutoff because the envelope affects the position of the white dot on the cutoff as well. For sake of demonstration, I'll reset the envelope by option clicking the Attack, Hold, and Release parameters, and then I'll set the hold to 100%. Now as you can see, the position of the white dot on the filter cutoff is all the way up, and because this is a low-pass filter, this means that the filter is completely open, and the track will play normal with no modulation as long as we have the depth at 100%. Now I have a basic starting point to create my own pattern in the step modulator. If you drag up or down on each step, you affect the depth of the step. Dragging left or right from the right side affects the length of each step. While I play back this example, I'll play with the depth and cutoff knobs as well to enhance the effect of the modulation. <laughs> You can also disable a step completely by clicking on its step number, and you can create a smooth legato transition between steps by clicking on the joining bar between the steps. You can also adjust the rate of the step modulator. Right now it's on 116, which is a 16th note. If I want to go slower, I could use a slower rhythmic value like an eighth note. Or a faster value like a 32nd note. Because the motion of the bass is naturally in 16th notes, I'm going to stick with 116 for now. <laughs> 